Hi everyone, Mitchell Simmer here. So welcome back to the second set of Halloween. I'm gonna take this job from Logan to Salt Lake City. All right, so hopefully this will be a lot less exciting than the last one. Um, obviously I'm gonna stay within the confines of the center of the map as much as possible. So that should help. And if we can just find a bunch of things here between like Logan and Salt Lake and just keep circling around in little sub 100 mile an hour or 100 mile an hour, we'll definitely be going less than that. But uh, sub 100 mile distance, we should hopefully be able to do this all pretty quickly, which is the plan. So for those joining in flight, uh, we've got a little bit of a diversion from the direct coast-to-coast -coast stuff in that I am trying to get the Halloween event done, which uh, we needed 12 loads. Um, all right, I just want to make sure there isn't a trailer hiding behind. There is not. All right, so that is our trailer. But um, what I'm trying to do is to get three loads done per episode, however long that tends to take. Obviously, if I can keep them short like this, then they won't take much time at all. But that was a bit of a turn out there, but that's all right. All right, I assume it's telling me to turn right but don't know for certain. All right, so according to this, very short, five minutes, 78 miles. So let me reset my trip meter there. Those of you that can see it, can see it. Whoops, I've got the green. Let's hope we make it. We will, very nice. So within the city, of course, we're still not really going down here at all. Obviously, I assume we're going to turn right to head out of town here. But my goal is certainly, if I can, to get the uh, little trinkets that we get unlocked from these events, which is always fun. And that is why I'm doing this. because I'm able to do it in this event where I can't do it in my Euro Truck event uh, because we've got pro mods kind of everywhere. But here uh, I'm in an area of the map that will work just fine. So waiting for this light, it seems eternal. theory we've gone a mile but as soon as we get out of town we should be taking miles away pretty quickly and then as long as I can find something in Logan maybe I'll get something coming right back so SCS has extended this beyond the dates originally because I think they were gonna end on the 6th of November otherwise Sorry, I had to mute there for a second. But um, because of the 1.46 beta testing that's going on, um, they smartly said, well, we're going to kind of let this go on well beyond the release of 1.46. 1.46 hasn't even been released, so I think I've got time, but I don't want to drag it on too long and then miss the opportunity because they really didn't give a specific date anymore and you know if they suddenly say well it's gonna be done in two days and I can't do anything on those two days that won't work so it's already been probably a week since I've been on here doing the first three so um, have a little bit of time and hopefully we'll have some more time later 
but I'm hoping in the next few days I'll get this done. Again, you'll see them in a much different time frame on the channel, but that is what I'm working toward here. So, as I pulled into Logan here, I do remember there's like a long meandering road to get us in and out here that I think is at least 15 miles long, so out of our 78 we're gonna kind of be down to 60 or less by the time we get anywhere near a highway. And I think we were coming from somewhere further away than Salt Lake last time, because I think I had to go over to, like, I don't know if it was Provo or something else. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the right. I assume I'll go to the left, but it's a little dangerous to dive over there and assume 100%, so I guess I'll just wait here. Wow, that car was really close to that bus. I don't know if you saw that really jerky stop on both of them. It almost seems like they hit each other, but maybe they're far enough apart they were okay. I think that's the left turn signal we're seeing, which is why we're not moving yet. At this point, I guess I'll just go with the direction, because I think I could have looked, but I don't want to miss movement, so that I am doing, but until it says Salt Lake, like, this junction doesn't help me much. So let's see what we've got here. Salt Lake straight ahead, so yeah, we'll be over to the left then. And I think, yeah, we kind of have one of these diamond intersections here on the newer parts. They redid some of these, I think. Or maybe by the time they released Utah they were already doing this, I'm not sure. But these are kind of newer in the in the world and in the game. I mean they're just we don't I think we've got a couple of them in my area, but they're they're pretty new. All right, so this is always the challenge with these. Like, they should be really fast, but by the time you get out of the cities, get on the highway, it's, it still takes 15, 20 minutes to get each run done, no matter what you're doing. So, oh goodness, we're not going to be clear of that bus. You can fit, come on. I know it's tight. But, ooh, that's fun. It's a little tighter than I wanted it to be, but we got through. We'll see if it makes a stop here. Of course, so we're just having a bit of... We just can't get moving here. But we are at 51 miles, 50 miles now. So we are very close. So we'll pull in here. Get ourselves weighed. I was going to say, if he can pull off, that would be helpful. It's interesting how we did get the hole. I'm like, we're not going to get the credit unless we pull over to the area, but it did. So, nice thing is, at least I've got the discovery of both the way station and obviously the road that we've driven past before. So, this kind of clears up this side. And we'll get ourselves moving along here. Even though it's 70 again with World of Trucks loads, we're capped at 65. Who knows if we'll even get up to speed by then before we have to slow down again, but I'm going to try. So that takes you to Wyoming. We're not headed there. But at least, you know, it's not incredibly hilly or really bad grades on the road here, so we can speed up relatively reasonably. 
I mean, we're still hauling 40,000 pounds of Halloween treats, so it's not a light trailer. It's pretty, pretty well filled out. But getting up to our max speed, so that's always a great thing. Because obviously the faster we can eat up the road, the faster we can get on to our next assignment. Which hopefully will not be, again, too far away. But uh, Salt Lake tends, I think it's a little bit off to the west from here. Like 15 doesn't go through it, so we're going to have to turn somewhere, probably here, and then there will be an exit at some point. So I think that was Salt Lake County. Let's see what our GPS says. Hmm. Is it going to say anything, or is it just going to... All right beginning to wonder if it was going to give me directions. All right, well, it's telling me eight, eight miles, so, and we're chewing them down, so I'm guessing we're getting right off here at 5,600. I just saw the flag for a brief second on my GPS. There we go. So that's a good sign, as we're basically right off the exit. Although, it looks like, even though it's close, there's not a great way to get there. I'm going to Tesla. So this is just a weird Halloween treat run. I'm going from Best Buy to Tesla. Not an originator or a receiver that you'd normally expect <laughs> for Halloween treats, but hey. I've said many times, and will say many times again, I just drive the load I'm told to deliver. So I try to ask few questions and just do my job. The Salt Lake International Center. Doesn't look very exciting, but it's there nonetheless, if you wanted to know. It looks like it just has FedEx in it for our purposes, so not super exciting, but maybe someday they'll expand it out. Who knows? It's not like, I'm sure it didn't take them a whole lot of effort to create that wall and signage, so maybe it's not that bad. Uh, Alright, next one. So, over here by the billboard. I have not seen Fanta in the stores in a long, long time. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, you know what? I see a little building over there in that corner. I think that's going to cause me a real problem. So, I think this will be better. It just, obviously, we're parking right here, so... That was kind of my hesitation as I, th oh yeah, we would have not been able to easily get her. Oh yeah, that would have been a disaster, especially with that other trailer there. Good call. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned, uh, the parking you're assigned is never, never multiple choice. It's usually kind of like you've got one way to get in there and one way only, and if you come in the wrong way, uh, you'll be chasing it forever. So hopefully we'll get this pretty cleanly done here in one parking move, maybe? I don't know, I'm a little crooked. We'll take it. Alright, load one. As long as we don't have any synchronization problems, which we shouldn't here in the middle of the map, then we'll be good. And we don't. Salt Lake to Provo. Here we go. All right, well, we know where this is going to be because... Wait a minute. Didn't I just come in this way? Hmm. 
I did, but wow. I guess I can't make that turn at all. Alright. Alright, but we go right to the FedEx, so we're going to go into the International Center now that we just saw. So that'll be fun. Turn right. Not really. It's not really going to matter. It's not fun or unfun. It's just there. I was going to say, he didn't look like he was stopping. He was hauling. Alright, and everybody stop. Oh, I just missed the arrow. It always works that way, doesn't it? So we're going to have to wait through the whole cycle again. But yeah, this should have gotten us. I was really fast in switching because I'm just trying to power through these so that we can get through them and kind of continue with our regularly scheduled program. Not that it really matters what we're delivering, but from a personal time standpoint, it's just a little more efficient for me, and this is how I normally do these events, is just kind of bang them out in rapid succession. So that's a little bit of the behavior there. I still haven't seen that bus move, so I don't even think they've gotten the green light for cross traffic yet. So a bit of delay here. So, um, the rewards for this are not, you know, there's no paint job or anything like that that comes with it. I think it's just a few uh, mirror trinkets, but I just like to have them in case someday I want to use them. And it's just nice to help out with the, the group events, so I don't always get to do uh, World of Truck stuff, so... When I have the opportunity, I, I definitely try to take advantage of it. So, so here we go. We'll head in. Oh, I could have turned before the light. I didn't know that. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, at least I know I can leave that way. How about that? So that'll save a bit. Could have probably saved two minutes not waiting at that light. That's goofy. Oh, that's behind the one. I was thinking it was right there. I was starting to line up. I think it's just this one car. I didn't... Whoops. Obviously I'm wrong. Um, oh, there's boxes there. I did a bad job of checking my area, making sure I had space. So, silly me. So this one's four more miles than the last one, 82 instead of 78. Once I straighten out my wheel, I'll get myself reset on the trip meter. Wait for the gate. We'll obviously need to go left because right is a dead end. Turn left. So that doesn't take too much thought of what we're going to need to do. Need to make a U-turn. All right. A new route. Keep right and then turn right. Yeah, because at least here we can turn right. Plus the light will be turn turning right. green, so that'll help. Oh, got a bit of a hill here, but the light's red up there, so. Maybe it'll turn for us before we get there. Maybe not. I'm assuming we're going to need to go left. Guess not. I guess we'll get to stop again. So we're here by I-80 in Salt Lake. 
I don't know why it's not stopping. I'm hitting the brake. I mean, I, I relaxed a bit because I thought it was kind of going to coast to a stop, but then it kept moving a lot more than I would have expected. So yeah, if I get another good small load, that'll end up in pretty good shape. Because, um, you know, if nothing else, I mean, last time I had to run four loads because one didn't count, and then I ended up quick traveling up here. What I'll likely do at the end of this is kind of quick travel my way back down so that this will truly have been kind of a one-time diversion, but not something that put us in a completely different location again. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. If you know, if I happen to find something from wherever I'm at, straight down to where I was, it might be worthwhile. Make some money again. It doesn't really matter. But uh, you know, if nothing's headed in the right direction for what I'm trying to pick up, to try to do our Mexico again, then. Um, then I'll probably just get myself down there and we'll see. Now the challenge was I think it was hard to find loads um, that were going exactly where we wanted to go anyway out of where we were so this kind of worked out that this came up. So, yeah, I think I need to go south, so I'm just kind of going to stick on this. Alright, so, yeah, I don't want to exit here, which I get, but I can't exit here anyway, but it is an exit only, so it would have forced me. But nice thing is we finished up that interchange from a discovery standpoint, so that is all well and good. Now we're finally down to 72 miles, pretty much as we started the last episode. So, a little bit longer to go, but not too bad overall. So yeah, this interchange is one I'm really familiar with. A lot of travel through this area, the map, in my time within American Truck Simulator. Alright, so we're maxed out on speed. Not not too bad on the timing. And then we're going to Provo to Archer Daniels Midland, which that tends to be a little bit off the beaten track, so that could throw a little bit of a monkey wrench into our quick, quick, quick plan unless we find something coming out of ADM with Halloween treats to somewhere nearby we may have a ways to go for the next pickup because I wouldn't be surprised if it exits me here because yeah these are Provo but we still got 43 miles so if it does that well, either way even if it's the next exit we're not going to get much closer. We might get to 30. But as you can see, that's going to be a bit of a haul to then uh, drop this off. So that's disappointing, but the load we can only take the loads that are generated. So Of course, I'm going to have to exit, and these guys are in the way. The station wagon is moving along pretty leisurely on the highway here by any standard. There we go. Oh, well, we can see it, so that's always a good thing. But can't, there we go. So we can see the road a bit. But yeah. It looks like a bit of tap dancing, that's for sure. So we're actually better than I thought. We're down to 20 miles already. Um, 
Let's see, car's stuck there. Are we going to get lucky? I always seem to get stuck at this light, so... My guess is... Ooh, we made it. Look at that. I really took that turn a lot faster than I should have, but there was no way I was going to stop if it was red. But I think I'm going to go left right at that first opportunity, is what it'll have me do. We're now down to 10 miles. Looks like we got to wait behind this bus, though. So, a little bit of speed. Now back to the city and back to hauling around through traffic lights and so forth to get there for the last little bit. About eight miles from here. So we got a 7 Eleven, Burger King, Chevron, Starbucks, of course. There's a Starbucks on every corner. So. I think we should be okay to get through the light here. It's just a question of, I think there's an intersection or two between here and the drop-off point. There's no other points here. This is really interesting. Out of Provo here, like, I mean, it's a town we hear about. I, I've never personally, that I recall, been to Provo. I may have driven through at some point and kind of not been aware. But um, it's a name I hear all the time, so I just assume it's a bigger city. But I don't know if we have any other options for pickup locations, which can bode well as long as there's one created here for Halloween treats. The problem is there may be one, but it just may be a long-distance one, which I, again, would prefer to avoid if I can. Although that's kind of how we had to end the last episode was taking a bit of a longer haul to uh, to finish up, so we'll see. It might be similar. Oh, but yeah, this is where we've been because that's that secret road that we discovered that we did not go visit and go down, so maybe. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll see what we got down there if I don't have a, a pickup here, but like I said, I'm not seeing much of anything else. I guess there's that I'm assuming that's a BHP Billiton. Oh, wow. This could be a long time. Depends how bold I want to be. Wow, come on. This traffic is crazy. They're literally coming up here to go turn south. Oh my goodness. Alright, I am going to at least pull out. Okay. Well, I didn't scare him into stopping. I was hoping. <laughs> but that didn't work. Alright. So, we'll head in here. And then, I think I got messed up last time. I got to the intersection, like, really fast, because, yeah, I think it's right here, and then I almost went by, because I'm thinking that's maybe a, the other direction of wherever that one road takes us. Alright, but this was a pretty large space for deliveries, I think. Um, where does it want it? I'm not seeing, I mean, I see the arrow, but, oh, inside the building? Hmm. Can I get in from this? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, we're just right up to the, okay, I get it now. We're, like, right up to where they have the trailer pulled across, because I was like, they kind of have the bay blocked, but they don't really want it in the bay. They want it near the bay. So, let's head back there. So we'll kind of be, like, backed up to the barn. Maybe they'll be unloading the treats in there. But not too terrible. Pretty straightforward delivery. I think, again, when I was here last time, it was, like, 
super easy as well. There. Again, maybe I'm remembering some other location that is totally different. Who knows? All right. There we go. So we should be at 6 of 13 now. Yep, 6 of 13. All right, excellent. So I can go there. No, I don't want to go to Ogden. That's further. Terrific. We'll take it. Right next to us. Nice. They moved that trailer track trailer and said, "Here, have some treats." So we'll take that. That'll make it nice and easy. At least we don't have to spend any time going to get it. And we're taking this right back to Tesla. So I guess if you want Halloween treats. Go work at the Tesla dealership. Elon Musk keeps you hooked up, I guess. Um, so we won't be able to take a peek at what's down that road, but that's okay. It's not really what we're about here. And so this should be nice and fast. Again, this is kind of just the Archer Daniels Road, so not really need to look for any kind of traffic. Now, this, I think, was one that got me a little surprised. We got a horse out there doing its thing. I think this was, again, my problem before. Like, I can not see down that road. I'm hoping nothing's coming. So, 78 miles from here. Again, I'm sure we're going to have lights and so forth. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm being a really bad, bad trucker. But I just want to... I want to get there. Oh, don't give me a ticket. It might because I started to back up. No, I'm good. All right. Well, this is going really well for speed. Don't drive your truck this way if you're a trucker, though. This is probably not what you want to be. Well, you probably want to do that, but it's probably far from safe. Ooh, Jenna makes almost... Um, Makes almost 10,000 for our company. That's wonderful. Getting up near 400. We're probably going to start expanding our team again a bit. Might need some more locations. I, it's been a while, so I don't remember exactly. Do I have garages to fill? Or I'm assuming since I've been waiting this long, I need to buy a garage and a truck to start. So, But we should be enough, because the trucks are 150. The Garages are 180. So yeah, I think we'd be okay. But we know we've got a couple exits. So we know exactly where we're going. We're literally heading right back to where we dropped off last time. We're not going to the FedEx, so we're not going to be going into the Salt Lake International Center again. move over a little early because otherwise I'm sure some guy will pass me and then be next to me when I catch up to this pickup truck. We are struggling for these last few miles per hour. We've been at 59 for a bit. I think we're finally accelerating up here. All right, maxed out. So yeah, this may be just a lot of ping-ponging here. So, um, I guess, you know, sorry if it's not that exciting to folks. It's what I've decided to do. I mean, obviously people can skip the episodes if they want and wait f for a few more episodes till I get done with this and join up again then. But, uh, 
you know, I get it's it's not varied scenery, nothing's changing. Obviously, you know, it's like any kind of sim here with with trucking. Uh, you know, we can obviously have some weird traffic accident, some detour can show up. It's still there's still some possibility for unexpectedness. All right, we do not want to go to Cheyenne, I know that, but the next one to I-80, I think, will be us. Mm, interesting. Well, I guess, okay, because this is just as this is the connection to Cheyenne, so we go through this interchange. The one that actually gets us to Salt Lake is a little further up. So we're now within 15 miles. All right. So we're exiting here, and as we know, as soon as we go around the turn, we'll be exiting again. So we are super, super close. I guess we'll slow down. Last thing we want to do is tip over, but we're going to need to be over there. Hopefully nobody's merging and cutting us off. Not seeing anyone. There we go. That flag should look familiar. <laughs> it was the first load of this episode, and here we are again. We hit the green light getting off last time. I doubt we're going to be that lucky. We're not, but it's a right turn. But that could mean that we're set up better for the other light. Nobody's coming. Uh, well, a little bit. Because it's green this way, I need to go to the left. So now the turn signal will start. Actually, it looks like maybe both started because nobody's the other way. So. That might be good. That might go quicker then. I didn't realize the lights could do that. Or maybe there isn't a left turn arrow that way. Either way. I think it bodes well for us. So might be that we're starting off at the International Center again next time. I do not know, but I'll worry about that when I'm at that point. For now, I need to make this delivery. Well, this is taking longer than I would have expected with what I saw when I pulled up. There we go. Finally! Dickie's Barbecue. Always a fun, fun thing. We have those around here. They're not bad. I'm a little demanding of my barbecue. Um, I enjoy it, and I've been in some nice places like Nashville and stuff that are, have some pretty fabulous barbecue, so my expectations are pretty high. But Mission Barbecue, if you've never had that, I think it's a Texas-based chain. Um, they are excellent. We got one of those. Whoa, I turned a little too sharply. I noticed that just as I was about to do what you saw. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't turn into anything worse. So see, episodes are not always exactly what you think. Because um, you've got a crazy driver involved here. But anyway... We survived. I can't see the other side of the trailer. I don't think we put a hole in it or anything. I don't see any Halloween treats falling out on the ground. Eh, it looks pretty good. There we go. Sloppy, but there. Alright, so we do keep... Well, we get pretty good trailer maneuvering bonuses, I'll tell you. We're nearly getting as many XP for the bonus as we are. So, 7 of 13. That'll be good enough for this episode. 
I will see you next time.